Right, I can beam me up. So who's in control? The Prime Minister may be working the machinery, but has the Chancellor got his hands on the workings of government? The two men were together in a Kent hospital today to launch the National Recovery Plan for the NHS. Only we didn't get all of it. Was that because the Chancellor had put the brakes on? No, says the Prime Minister. We are focused uh, completely. This is absolutely uh, the, the reality. We're, everybody in Number 10 uh, uh, and the Treasury uh, are, are working together in harmony to, to deal with the, the big problems that the country faces. Hello, how are you doing? And the government's saying the rest of the health recovery plan will be published this week. And there's really no problem between the Prime Minister and Chancellor. That relationship uh, between the Chancellor and the PM is crucial. I can tell you from experience just how important it is. And what I see is a very good, strong working relationship. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson's trying to put a new government team together. Guto Harry, who used to work for him when he was Mayor of London, comes in as Head of Communications. He's already said that when he took the job, the Prime Minister sang, I will survive. And Steve Barclay becomes Chief of Staff, but stays a Cabinet Minister. That's not been tried here before, and the opposition don't think much of the changes. This time last year, we were told that the Prime Minister had learnt the lessons, and he was putting a new team in place. Only a few weeks ago we were told it was going to make changes and this was going to be what would make the difference. Um, I personally think that nothing will really change until the person at the top changes because all routes really lead to the Prime Minister and that's the change we really need to see now. His government needs some urgent care and he needs both the new members of his team and the Cabinet's big hitters if he's going to have any chance of reviving his fortunes. Andy Bell, Five News.